Thurgood Marshall, as you mentioned, um, also uh, denied her the promotion to his position when he was set to be appointed to the federal bench. Um, and Motley was disappointed. She thought that gender was a factor, that race was a factor um, in uh, her, the denial of her promotion. Um, and yet for all of her life, she lifted up Thurgood Marshall. She praised Thurgood Marshall for giving her her big break. In fact, she said, had it not been for Thurgood Marshall, no one ever would have heard of Constance Baker Motley. Uh, and so she handled it um, in the way that she handled everything. She kept going. Uh, she kept going. She was incredibly resilient. And of course, the failure to attain that promotion actually opened uh, an opportunity for her. Um, she was she went into politics after um, working at the NAACP Legal Defense Fund for more than 20 years and was a barrier breaker there. And of course, she was appointed to the U.S. District Court. Um, uh, she was not able to make it to the Court of Appeals. There are many stories there. I'm not sure how much you want me to tell, but suffice it to say that her practice background as a civil rights lawyer was weaponized against her. And also there were those who just didn't want a woman on the Court of Appeals. 